a very important and a simple concept in this section the equals classes and partition of a set what is equals class of each element of a set and what is partition see what is meant by equals relation that we know if a relation is said to be an equals relation if it is reflexive if it is symmetry and uh, it is See, number consider in the equals relation. How do you equals classes and partition existing? See, for example, that R is a relation defined on A. A contains 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and the relation defined by R equal to set of all AB such that A minus B is even. The difference is even. And using that relation, R contains uh, element 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4. You can see that the difference of these two numbers is always even. 3 minus 5, 2, minus 2 is even. 4 minus 2, 2 is even. Like that. So these are the elements of the relation. And it is very clear that it is an equivalence relation. You can check it. And here, how much here move? You take the elements which are related to one. One might be related by elements on the list here. Say one one. One related to one. Say three one. Three related to one. Say five one. Five related to one. See the elements. One, three, five. These three elements are related to one. Similarly, you take the elements related to two. Say 2, 2. Say 4, 2. Then 2 and 4 are the elements which are related to 2. Similarly, we can take uh, the elements related to 3. Say 3, 1, 5. 3, 1, 5. It is similar to this. The elements related to 1. Sim and uh, the elements related to 4. See, 4, 4 and 2, 4. 2 and 4. It is similar to the elements related to 2. That is, we can say that the elements are related to 1. That set is called equivalence class of 1. See the equivalence class of 1? It's set to 1, 3, 5. And see equivalence class of 2? Set to 2, 4. You can check that what is equivalence class of uh, 3, set 1, 3, 5. What is equivalence class of 4 is 2, 4. It repeats. Similarly, equivalence class of 5, 1, 3, 5. Repeat here. See, equivalence class of 1 and equivalence class of 5 are same. Equivalence class of 2 and equivalence class of 4 are same. So from here, we get two sets. One is P1, set 1, 3, 5. P2, set 2, 4. Mm -hmm. 1, 3, 5 means equals class of 1, R, equals class of 3, R, equals class of 5, 1. P2 is equals class of 2, R, equals class of 4. R. So clearly that P1 and P2, you can see that. What about the union? The set A. What about the intersection? It is null set. See P1 and P2 like this. Right. That means P1 and P2 forms a partition of the set A. Is called a partition. No elements in common and the union is set here like that. The next to the definition of what is equals class and what is partition. What is the example can do it? An equals class. So R is an equals class defined on a set A and for every A belongs to A. The equals class of the element A is defined as 
The equation comes of a set of all x belongs to a such that x related to a. That means ordered where x a belongs to a. Like that. This is equal class of a. अगर इल्ला एलिमेंट ना नमक इक्वल क्लासेस फॉर्म दिए मतों सो अगर इक्वल क्लास फॉर्म दिए ना टाइप सेट आर नेल तक अंदर पी वन पी टू एक्स आता है इस कोड का पार्टीशन ऑफ सेट इन जनरल ए इस ए नॉन एम्प्टी सेट एंड पी वन पी टू एक्स आता पी एन आर द कलेक्शन ऑफ सबसेट्स ऑफ ए इसे तो भी पार्टीशन सच � P1 union, P2 union, etc. union, P n is set A, that union is A, and P i intersection P j equal to null set. So your concept is that we have to study that mutually exclusive and exhaustive events in probability. Okay, one more thing. Example to verify. One more example. It all is a relation defined on A, set 1, 2, 3, up to 9. Defined as set for XY such that X minus Y is divisible by 3. The difference is divisible by 3. First of all, list all the elements of R. See this? You can check the elements out. The difference is divisible by 3. So clearly, it is an equivalence relation. And also, what are the elements related to 1? Or equals class of 1? It is set of x belongs to a such that x related to 1. See? What are the elements related to 1? We can see that uh, 1, 4, 7. What are the elements related to 2? Is 2, uh, 5, and uh, H. What are the elements uh, related to 3? That is equal to class of 3, which are 3, then 6, then 9. Similarly, equal to class of 4, equal to class of 5, equal to class of 6. C equal to class of 4, which is 1, 4, 7. Again, other uh, repeated. It is same as sequence class of 1. And equals class of 5 is same, it is 2, 5, 8. It is same as sequence class of 2. Equals class of 6 is elements related to 6 is 3, 6, 9. It is equals class of 3. Similarly, equals class of 7 is equals class of 1. Equals class of 8 is equals class of 2. And equal to class of 9 is equal to class of 3. Here we get 3 sets. P1, 1, 4, 7. P2, 2, 5, 8. And P3, 3, 6, 9. You can see that these 3 sets, P1 union, P2 union, P3 is A itself. And you take any two pairs, P1 in the section P2 or P2 in the section P3 or P1 in the section P3 is empty. No elements in common. So, it's a partition of set A. So, remember, a relation R is uh, an equals relation. So, our equals class form here and that equals class form a partition of that set. Either one, equals classes and partition. Okay. Now it is the end of the first section, types of relation. The next topic is types of functions.